students, society. Join me, Benjamin Murubani, your host in a student mental, emotional, and psychological well being podcast, engaging with professionals, affected individuals, last but not least, people from different organizations in our studio. Welcome to We Now Listening with BM, a podcast. Ciao. In today's content, we're just going to be talking about adjusting to varsity from two perspectives from government, like where you come from, as well as uh, high school, from the type of high school that you're from. So today I'm with Ndaba Majila and Mohao Mo. Sir. How are you guys? No, man, we're good. We're good, I'm good, man. How are you? Ah, and I'm good. As you can see, I'm actually excited for this, man, because I feel like this is some content that we've all been waiting for. Yeah. As it's a, like, a, a personal experience for, for most of us. But I think, in general, we experience more or less the same thing yeah. when coming to adjusting to varsity. Yeah. You know? So, before we get into like the full juicy details, I just want to know what were you doing like after high school? Did you come here straight? Or did you like embark on a certain journey because of circumstances, or was it a decision of some sort? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, man. Um, so after after my after my I finished my trip twenty eighteen, mm. and that doesn't make me a two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not a two thousand. Something happened during high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but anyways, man. Yeah. So I finished my matric twenty eighteen. And then, um, I, I, I went out, I went to search for school because I applied sharp, but then universities rejected me. Mm-hmm. So universities rejected me. I went to Joburg, Pretoria. I went to Blom in, in one week, literally. Yeah. And then I still couldn't get space. That was so, insane. brah, that was yeah. crazy. So, but um, luckily three months down the line, I got a job for Josie. And I started working, and yeah. So during uh, during the 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 the, um, the months that mm. I applied for NWU, and then here we are. Here we are. Yes, sir. <laughs> and like, so. what what's your part? What's your take in this? Yeah. And I completed my matric in uh, 2017. Mm. Um, I got accepted by CUT Central University of Technology. Mm. Then I went there, registered. The time I was about to to go to classes, mm-hmm. I had to deregister because I experienced a severe headache. Mm-hmm. So I deregistered. I went back home, took a gap year. It was 2018. Yeah. Then uh, I reapplied to different varsities. Mm-hmm. Then 2019, I got accepted here at the back. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always here we are. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like we, we all experienced a journey. Regardless, like people who just came straight from high school, straight to university. Yeah. But I think the more experience comes from the difficulty of bridging from high school to um to university. Yeah, yeah. Because if we were to start, if you can check like your prior experience like how did it affect you in any way as you started your first month and your second month in varsity like your your prior experience what you experienced before coming to work where you, where we are right now okay man. uh i would say man uh the gap year man really like prepared me for varsity because mm-hmm. i remember during that gap year i, I used to, to to tutor my my younger brother yeah. so that really like prepared me for varsity so the time i came to varsity i was I had that hunger, that passion, so yeah. I was already ready for 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 varsity, for varsity. people in SDR. Yeah. yeah, and your side, um, Aish, with me, it was uh, it was a bit difficult. Mm. Um, the only thing that was an advantage was the sleeping patterns. Obviously, you wake you have to wake up early. Yeah, yeah. true. So, and like, there was like every day of my life, mm. um, in, in twenty the whole of twenty nineteen. So the sleeping patterns there, I, I didn't have any problem with waking up. The only problem was academics. My mind was yeah. Ah yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> but like the first week, the first week of school, I was like, what the hell am I doing here? Bro? Exactly. Because like, I literally left work um to to, to, to come, come to school. Yeah. So it was academically, well, mentally, 
I was I was not I was not ready. I had to adjust mm. for like the first three months, you know, mm. from my previous um, um, life to this varsity mm. life. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's always crazy, man. Because think crazy. about it. It makes sense. Like you were working, your mind is in an, a working environment. Yeah, it's mm. cool. <laughs> You're not in a work. Like you do get like demands from both sides. You need to complete tasks in a certain mm. like time. Uh, like there are deadlines and everything, but with school it's different. Mm. It's not only like having to do something, but you need to prepare for it. Mm. And if your mind has been like experiencing a lot of stuff, and for example, you know, high school level is not the same as like university level. Yeah, that's true. I, I bet it was difficult for you guys to like transact from like um, the, the 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 school system. And like the, the school system of university. Yeah. Because I mean, ah, my, I mean, it's high school, man. Yeah, it's high school, nothing is difficult. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. And you get to realize that after you get here, mm. then, ow. Oh. So I used to get uh, 50%. Mm. Man. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the distinction. <laughs> yeah. Distinctions are not working. So, great job. They're definitely not working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Distinctions are not working. Because if you were to think about it, yeah, yeah, you can continue. Yeah, no, 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 you can continue. Oh, like, if you can think about it, as you said, you, you completed metric in 2018, Goji in like, was it 2019 when you started like uh, studying here? Yeah. 2020. 2020. Yeah, because 2019 so, it's been like three years now mm. for you. Mm. And you finished in 2017, took a gap in 2018, 2019 you started. Yeah. So it's been four years. Mm. I bet you have a fair experience of how Max like drastically drops mm. from like being a top student to just being okay. Mm. At, at least I passed. <laughs> at least I passed. Yeah. So like, how was it for you? Like, how, how was the, how did you prepare your mind to accept that certain change because I think it forms part of adjusting to varsity. It's a mm. different level. Mm. You used to be at the top level and now you just at the level of so long as I progress, mm. it's fine. Mm. I'll try again next time. So how did it affect you like in any way? Mm. Can I Yeah, yeah. Me? No man, like um this thing it's ish, hey, this thing is hectic. I when I first got my marks, I know that I'm mean, I know that I'm a, I'm not really an academic person, <laughs> but I know that I'm smart. Yeah, you know? yeah. So am I got I I get to varsity, even a mere fifty percent, bra. Like it's it's difficult to get fifty percent. Yeah. Bro. So from there on, I was like, oh okay, so this is it. Oh, so we are. We are striving for fifty percent here. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little distinction actually. <laughs> so from there on, I really have to channel my mind that this is not. First of all, I'm from I'm from work. I'm not even from straight yeah. from high school. So I have to adjust. I have to I have to open my mind for books, and I also have to readjust that. Bra, the distinctions are. Mm. Yeah, well, it's time for you to try for that fifty. But 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 it's. Um, it's a it's a it's a good experience. It's good to be challenged academically. Yeah. yeah well. For me, uh, I remember the first time I came here, I was like, but I'm going to use the same experience as high school. As experience, high school. Right? So, can I share with you guys that is, uh, then there's this module now, as the way, uh, it's physiology. Mm. Then obviously it's related to this uh, subject I did at high school. Mm. So I got like uh, the good marks for this uh, subject. I was yeah. like, no, but I'm not going to study for this module. <laughs> I'm just going to go there. But I did, I, I passed uh, this subject well. Mm. Wow, when I got there, man, you chowed me, my man. Mm. That was the first wake up call for me at varsity. Oh, bro, high school experience doesn't work here, yeah. man. You need yeah. to like to balance, man. What yeah. It was physiology. physiology. Yeah. yeah. It's not gonna work. It's, <laughs> it's not, not gonna, gonna work. It's not gonna. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, yeah. like, I think it's it's also like the, the 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 definition or the introduction of the modules that mm. tricks us. Yeah. Someone will be like, no, this is like if you did physics, yeah. then it will be easy for you to to like what what. And yeah. if you did accounting, because I know, <laughs> I know on my side when I was doing accounting, I did commerce in high school. So when I go to it was like, okay, I have accounting. Economics, I have business, I have math. No, I did this in high school. Mm. All right. They didn't put in the work. I was busy with my series and everything. Because, like, remember, from high school, I wasn't used to watching movies and series and everything. But then when I go to varsity, it was different. Because mm. now I have a laptop mm. and I have, like, internet. Mm. Like, it's unkept. So I was busy, like, on 
like watching series as much as I could, mm-hmm. not realizing that, bruh, this accounting is not the same as the accounting that you had in high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first test child me, but I got 9.5 out of 50. I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, I was like, it happens, it happens, but then I was like, no, it's the first test, man, it's bound to, I am bound to fail, because yeah. I'm still adjusting and everything, then I go to the second test, now I got 9.5 out of 50 again, history repeating itself. Marlowe. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> that, that's exactly how bad it is, man, like, we need to adjust. We need to change, yeah. we need to shift our mindset, our perspective, yeah. and how we perceive things yeah. in varsity, because it's different. It's different. They might have the same name, but... <laughs> nah, they're not the same, man. Because I believe, like, the Pule that you know, or the Joseph that you know from casting Feet mm. is not the same Joseph mm. as you know from, mm. like, yeah. yeah, the religious stories and everything. Um, but looking at how we, we, we transitioned from... Like that, cause I like what you said. The the wake up call. Mm. I think we need to have that as early as possible. And the the wisest way to have it is to ask those who came before you. Mm. I think it makes more sense to to, yeah. to be like mm. and like everyone who's out there need to reach out to the first years, cause they have the same mentality we had when we came here. Mm. So we cannot blame them. We cannot expect them to be who we are now. We need to understand that okay, they are here. Let's prepare them for this. Mm. Like, for you, who helped you adjust to varsity? Like, was it friends? Was it, like, a, a, class, uh, a classmate? Or was it you on your own? Did you deal mm. with the adjusting on your own? Mm. Um, yes, honestly, I dealt with everything on my own, man. I, 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 I can just come into a place and, you know, and just familiarize myself with people and get used to the environment clar, clar, within a week. So it mm-hmm. really doesn't take much time with me. I'm, I'm just that guy, Jay. Yeah. I meet strangers and I just make friends, clar. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so making friends really distracted me from, from that thing, you from the you from work, you from, work, you know, you from a yeah. workspace, mm-hmm. and now you're getting into an academic space. So it was not really much of a, of a hassle. Um, it, it, though it took long, but eventually I got it. Eventually I got it right. Yeah, no, I, that's nice. The time I came here, I told myself that bruh, I'm going to do everything by my own, bruh, on my mm. own. Just going to be in my room the whole time. Not going to interact with uh, anybody. Mm. If I need help, maybe I'll go to someone who speaks the, the same language as me. Mm. That was like the, the, the things I told myself. Bruh. From now on, bruh, you're on your own. Mm. Just stay in your room, study alone, do everything alone, man. Yeah. Then at a later stage, I realized, oh no, man, you won't survive for long here yeah, mm. if you keep on like uh, behaving like this or doing things like this. Um, I would say, man, like I started being like uncomfortable because remember, man, this is varsity, man. The reason why we meeting, the reason uh, why we meeting like uh, different people is for us to 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 interact with those people, yeah. to to yeah. learn from those people. So if you say you're gonna be in your home the whole time, that means you you know that varsity. You're in your home you're actually. In your room. Oof. You understand? Ooh. So that's when it, it started like to hit your bra. Yeah. You actually know that varsity, bra. You're in your home. Yeah. So I started like feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. So that that feeling man made me like to to go around ask. Mm. That's when I started like asking questions. Cause I remember I used to struggle with the the reports. Yeah. I remember I used to 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 submit the reports. Then this time. I remember, uh, instead of typing it, mm. like I, 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 wrote, down. I wrote down, <laughs> uh, then, uh, <laughs> then, then, then on my way, I met uh, my hostel father, Sam. Yeah. Sam was like, where are you going, bro? Like, ah, man, like, you submit, bro. Mm. What, what, are you going to, what, what are you going to, to, to submit? Mm. Ah, man, like, submit this report. And the guy was like, hey, bro, you need to type it, man. Mm. But I had to go back and type it, man. Yeah. Now go, it's gone, my man. So I started with like a second uh, wake up call, man. And I was like, hey, bro, that thing of uh, being in your home the whole time, I can see, man, it doesn't work for you, man. Mm. So you need to go and ask other people, man, how things are done. Because yeah. Yeah. I like what, what you said, like, the, the, the part, I don't know if you still remember it, when you said, when I go out and interact with people, I want to go to someone that speaks the same language as me. Yeah. I think that's another form yeah. of adjusting, because like, this yeah. is varsity. Yeah. This is varsity. Be comfortable in your veneg. 
won't work for you here. Yeah, you need to realize that, all right, information won't necessarily come from the same people, same people as your race, yeah. as like people speaking the same language. You need to challenge yourself. You need to learn like, or a, like any language that makes it easier for you or manageable for you to, to survive mm -hmm. and strive while you're trying to learn and everything. You know, like this is the first part I picked up. People need to adjust mm -hmm. from like, living there not necessarily living their home language or their vene yeah. but making sure that all right i'm not i'm not a Tswana person i'm not a, a, a soto person. person i'm not a Tosa person i'm not a zulu person i'm a person and i need to do what is best for a person which is adapting to the current situation and you also say like always being in your room it's like you're not adversity mm -hmm. you're in your room that represents comfort zone and you know from comfort zone like you cannot like achieve anything from comfort zone yeah. like for you as, as as we're touching on like this comfort zone story and everything what got you more comfortable here in varsity uh than it did in high school or like in any situation in your life um i think i would say freedom mm -hmm. I would, I, would, I would say freedom and independence. Um, you know, you are not under... The, like, there's no one that is telling you... I mean, even a mere lecturer. A lecturer yeah. will never tell you to submit <laughs> an assignment. But, like, so I think freedom got me got me um, um, comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, to take time to adjust, mm -hmm. um, you know, to... And the other thing is that um, as soon as I got to varsity, I realized, oh, yes, yes. I want a uniform. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I want a uniform. Bruh, you literally wear your clothes every day. Bruh. And I was like, I get a regular like, hamper and I have pep store. Yo, wait, the wait, one. No, I get. Bruh, like, so, so, so that was the biggest adjustment. Yeah. Even though, even though, in as much as it didn't affect me because I was working the previous year, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But, however, I felt like it's a, it's a, um, it's a cycle, man. Like, we're having periods, we're coming to school every day, yeah. so I thought maybe, you know. But as soon as I got here, I realized, I'm not in uniform. So, but um, to answer your question, uh, really, um, independence and freedom got me comfortable. Mm. Oh, so I got comfortable with time, man. Yeah, uh, just to add on, on what you just said now, ne? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've realized something, man. No way. We, we actually here at Varsity, we, we're all the same, man. Mm -hmm. So that's when like you start to be comfortable. When you realize, oh, actually, we are all the same. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, when you start students, to be comfortable yeah. here. We're all students because we're here to... Actually, this is a new environment for all of us, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's when I started like to be comfortable. And I started being comfortable after like uh, starting to ask a lot of questions, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when I started being comfortable, making new friends. Yeah, man, like studying, speaking the same like language, like uh, thinking in the same way. Same you know? way, yeah. yeah. That's when I started being comfortable. Yeah, because the thing about comfort is good comfort and is bad comfort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I feel like the bad comfort is the one that prevents you from doing certain stuff. Because I think here, yeah, one thing that as students we have the most is time. Yeah. We have so much time. But we just don't know how to use it. Because mm. remember, like I said with me, I, I was not used to watching series and everything. Yeah. So when I got here, I realized that, no, man, I only have one class most today. So what I can do is just like attend class and then form class, I'll just watch series the whole night. Mm. With friends, we'd, we'd talk from like 8 o'clock until the following day, we'd cook. <laughs> dinner or supper like literally at two in the morning <laughs> that's that's how comfortable we were because yeah. like now we're starting to realize that we're thinking alike yeah we're from the same background yeah. we're experiencing the same thing so it's now funny. the conversation it's like it mm. yo but i don't know <laughs> it's like a bag of maize meat it's never full bruh it's never full it's cool, so um i'm just glad that as we've experienced like different stuff I feel like the most highlights in our lives are the ones that we had to experience harshly, you know, mm. adjusting from like university, from high school to university in terms of academics, knowing and understanding, all right, this happens. It happens that you fail. You need to make peace with that. 
it's not your fault it's not anybody's fault it's not the fault of like not putting in the work or not yeah. putting in too much time or anything into your study just it happens you never know what the reason is so you need to be soft on yourself not necessarily soft on yourself but just don't be too hard yeah. on yourself yeah, that's true. just don't be too hard on yourself so like before i just like continue to to say the last part i just want to hear from you what is the advice that you would give to someone who's from from high school coming to varsity who's from work coming to varsity and who's at varsity trying to learn and grow as they are here and that's the same like question for you as well um so for a person that is currently in, in high school going to varsity mm-hmm. um prepare for the worst man. yeah prepare for the worst um but don't take it as a as a threat don't take yeah. it yo know, you understand yeah because yeah. a lot uh, yeah. some some yeah. uh, someone will just receive it as you varsity the hour i'm not, I'm not, going, I'm not there. going there you know yeah yeah, yeah. i mean wherever you go unfortunately wherever you go you're still <laughs> going to meet challenges yeah so just prepare for the worst and mm. for the person who's from work to varsity um also prepare for the worst mm-hmm. also prepare for the worst and um be ready for change there, yeah. there are a lot of adjustments that you that still you need to make mm-hmm. and for the person who is in varsity right yeah yeah do you want like trying to improve and grow as mm-hmm. they are here mm-hmm. like to still learning to adjust to adjust yeah i want to swap plan no more i'm kidding no like um um Man, I don't know. Like, um, just keep on keeping on. That's yeah. all. I, keep yeah. on keeping on. Just make sure that whatever that you do, you do it passionately and you do quality. Yeah. 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 Um, and for 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 learners at high school, I would say, just allow your 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 minds to be flexible, man. Oof. You know, because yeah. remember when, especially when you're from Kasi, man, mm. we, we we have a, a a certain way of thinking, thinking. and we mm. come with the same mentality here at Varsity, man. Bra. So if you allow your mind to be flexible, mm. at least you can adjust easily, you know. Yeah. Mm. So if they can like allow their minds to be flexible, I think they would uh, they would they would survive, man. Yeah, it would oh. make adjustment easy. Yeah. In a man. way. Mm. So for someone who's in Varsity, man. I don't know what to say, but <laughs> just keep on trying, man. Because ah, yeah. it, 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 it's tough, man. It's tough, man. It's tough, And surprisingly, it doesn't necessarily get easy. You just get tougher and That's stronger. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. get easy. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. get... So hence, yeah. it's important to improve and yeah. grow. Mm. You, you cannot say, nah, I'll get used to it. Mm. It's, it's, it's not like pain, bruh. It'll it's, never get used to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it'll yeah. keep yeah. coming yeah. and like... The, the, the forces keep getting stronger and stronger. Hence, you need to make sure that you are as rigid mm-hmm. as possible. Ah, varsity in fact, it doesn't need chest tankers. Mm-hmm. Ah, you cannot be critical but stable. Bruh. Mm-hmm. You should, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to be here. You need to stand your ground. You need to like uh, come out to all the things that makes it possible for you to survive here in yeah, varsity. Yeah, yeah. I just be flexible. Yeah keep on fighting that's basically what varsity is all about yeah, right? man. identifying that now the times have changed mm. and now the times are getting more harder yeah. and harder that's how it is that's how uh, varsity is so for everyone who's out there please make sure that you do the best for yourself mm. yeah it might be good to stay in your room and everything but <laughs> your room won't be there when you're facing all the tough and harsh challenges of varsity Thank you very much, guys, for this conversation. Like, you are learned a lot, man. Well, I think the... you're nice, man. <laughs> so, now, thank you very much. Yeah, we enjoyed it, man. Oh, we. Oh, goody, goody, goodos. Magundi. We have reached the end of our episode. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want more of this great show, hit that subscribe icon and the notification bell to hear from us again. Do follow us on all respective social media platforms, same handle, and we're now listening with BM at Podcast. That was the content, guys. Hope you like it, and I hope you love it. Till next time, bye.